Hey guys, welcome back. So LG wants to start this year with a bang. Last few years were not so good for LG. The sales have dropped drastically. LG says the sales dropped due to the static demand in the smartphone market and the continued aggressive pricing by the Chinese smartphone makers. Yeah, that's partially true, but LG is also to blame, as the update service is pathetic. Everyone is complaining of slow updates or no updates at all. The cameras are also not up to the standard of Samsung and such other brands. But it's not all bad either. They do provide great displays and the sound experience is just awesome. LG Electronics CEO expressed confidence that the company's smartphone business can turn around by the end of next year. He said, LG Electronics mobile business is going to be profitable by 2021. I can say we can make this happen as LG Electronics will expand our mobile lineup and steadily release new ones attached with some wow factors to woo consumers. While the CEO did not reveal any specifics on exactly how LG plans to turn around its smartphone business, he did reveal that the company will expand its phone lineup and attracting consumers with some wow factors. What do you think the wow factors will be? It's really hard to bring wow factors. LG previously tried this with hand gestures but that didn't work out very well, mostly because it was useless. To be honest, the feature isn't worth the headache and you are better off just tapping the screen. If LG plans to do something similar to that, then sales are sure to suffer. LG is working on its new premium flagship series. We can expect the LG G9 and LG V60, both of them will still arrive with the thin Q name. As for the LG G9 ThinQ, some image renders and 360 degree video were published previously. Rumors has it, the LG G9 and LG V60 ThinQ will be different version of the same smartphone. That could mean the two will have same build, design and features but with minor changes on the specs. Both phones are expected to offer 5G connectivity already. We also have a leaked back panel of V60 ThinQ which is similar to G9. So we can say the design looks similar. The front has U-shaped notch which is an upgrade over the bathtub shape notch but every flagship phone now comes with either punch hole or some kind of pop-up mechanism. So overall the design looks pretty outdated. On the back there will be 4 cameras but the specs are unknown. It will be revealed on MWC 2020. The G9 appears to have an all glass body along with a dedicated Google Assistant button to accompany the power button and volume rockers. The best part is there's still a headphone jack. This will be one of the very few premium smartphones which still offer headphone jack, maybe the only one. Rest of the specs are unknown but we can be sure that it will feature the Snapdragon 865 chipset. More about this phone will be coming soon, so subscribe and thank you for watching this video. Peace out.